Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to have a look at two of the heavy hitting shafts, uh, both on tour and available here at SGT. And that being, we're going to do a little versus a Ventus Black, the original Black, not the TR. So Ventus Black versus a new one to our fitting matrix, the Tensei 1K White. So, been having a little look at, at what, you know, might be a, you know, an alternative to, to, to Ventus Black in the studio here. Not, not that we really need one, but, um, you know, we're all, always looking to add products and see what they do. And so 1K White has been very prominent. Mitsubishi is obviously very prominent on tour. Very, very good product, uh, big brand. So we thought we'd give it a run. Uh, we've had some real good success in fittings thus far and some interesting outcomes. So we're going to have a look today and see if we can just spot differences. Now, whether one's better or not, I mean, they're both ultra high premium shafts, right? So I'm not expecting one to be better than the other, so to speak. It may suit me more. Um, for you guys that are new to the channel, I play Ventus Red. So these black profiles are not really for me, but, but hey, who knows, right? So today... Um, we're going to test it in TSR3. We're going to test it with Pro V1. So some tightless testing equipment today for those two shafts. Now, on a side note, um, in comparison when it comes to the build, these are both at 45.5 today, which is a little bit long for me, but that's what they are. Um, the Ventus will swing weight. It's a 64 gram shaft with 3.4 grams of torque, okay? The 1K white is 62 grams with 3.8 degrees of torque. Now I've mentioned this before, but just because one says 3.4 and one says 3.8, doesn't mean they're actually different. Um, both companies measure torque slightly differently with different tools, so you can get odd numbers, but they are, you know, in theory, the 1K is slightly lighter and slightly more torque. Okay, so um, when I swing weighted them, with the TSR3 head at 45.5, which is a little long, um, 4.6 in the 1K, and uh, 5.4 with the Ventus Black. So the Ventus Black's uh, one swing weight heavier, just as a, as a note. So I'm gonna hit some balls with both and see how they go. Okay, so I'm ready to hit some shots. I mean, the first thing that I notice about this, I love that. I don't know whether you call that holographic or the finish on this is beautiful. It's a really, really lovely finish. Um, it actually feels light. Now everyone that's been hitting this in fittings has said similar things. It feels really, really light. I feel like I hooked that a bit, but I hit it really well. So. You know, that's been the response, is it feels light, pretty lively. Um, that felt great, like that felt really, really nice. I hit it pretty close to the center. That was a little lower on the face, but a straighter shot. You know, you can feel a little bit of kick in it. So for a low launch, low spin shaft, my first couple of shots, um, pretty nice to be fair. That's a neck. So we'll see how that spins up on a miss hit. I mean, obviously there's, there's a lot of factors at play, right? There is this 12 mil low, 13 mil hill, it's a shocker. Um, you know, obviously the different head, whatever we use, the different playing length, the different swing weight, all these things come into account. That's another heel. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not loving the extra length at 45.5, but you know, that's no excuse. There's a lot of user error in this. And the first one I hit really, really well, so. 
just want to, um, you know, grab a bunch of, of data, see how it goes. I don't feel like I've really scented one thus far. I mean, the first one was pretty good, but since then I'm just trying to give it a bit and it's spinning up a little bit and I'm hitting low in the heel. Felt like a good strike. That'll be closer. I suppose it's worth uh, noting that the um, his head feels pretty good. CSR head's a good head, that's for sure. But there's a you know there's a little bit of kick in this. It certainly doesn't feel like a a telegraph pole. But I am getting them quite low on the face. You know, spinning up a little bit. But, you know, the shaft feels nice. You know, there's some, some numbers close to 3,000. Other than my first one that went low, but they've all been very straight, to be fair. So let's just see if we can hit one closer to the toe. That's probably a lefty. And I'll just hit one more. That, I, I hammered. That's gotta be the best one. Yeah, that's massive. Wow, that's kind of got me, that's got me a little excited about this, to be fair. 2000 spin. Yeah, that's, that's really great. I gotta go again now. If only I had the ball in the right spot. Would have picked up all that club data, but that was really lovely. And that was hammered too. Wow. That's really hammered. Okay, so I think I've got, I've got enough data to be able to sift out of that. Yeah, magnificent. Okay, let's swap them out. All right, so we've got Ventus Black in now. Uh, she feels heavier. Feels a little stiffer, I suppose, but not crazy heavy, that's for sure. Okay. It's probably a bit low on face, but um, it's definitely got a little different feel. That's for sure. I suppose a little heavier hit, if that's a thing. Oh, that's the one where you don't even feel anything. You just don't feel anything. It just comes off so good. So maybe my, move that ball again. You know, maybe my impression that I can't hit Ventus Black is maybe a little wrong. That did feel really heavy, thud, like a smooth, but. <laughs> felt good too. It did feel a bit left. Not, not to say that this feels better. I mean, feel is, 
is what it is, right? There's people that um, you know, like Vegemite, and there's people that don't. Like it's personal taste, really. Feel. Um, I've probably hit these last few in the center better than I did with the 1K, but again. You know, am I just adjusting to this length now? Am I getting used to it? That's a little low, that's a bit more of my normal. A bit low on the face. And they both feel magnificent. I, I do think the Ventus is feeling a little stiffer. It's probably going to be, I haven't really looked at the numbers, but it's potentially going to be a little bit, you know, is it a little less spin? Does it feel a little more solid? That was pretty hammered. I'm definitely getting some huge carry, that's for sure. There's some great shots. These are up with... These are definitely up with my best numbers as far as distance goes, that's for sure. So maybe this is, you know, good carries there. That was hit really nicely. Really enjoyed that. Now, am I just warming into these driver shafts? You know, like I played golf this morning. I'm, uh, I'm on about three hours sleep, which is not normal for me. I, uh, I don't mind a nap, but we're out, uh, out pretty late last night, having a bit of fun, early golf, played okay. It's a hot day here in Sydney today, 35 degrees. Nice in front of the Dimplex. <laughs> Hammered that, but it's left. Not too bad left. Yeah, a little bit low on the face. Nice. Let's go, I don't know, one, one or two more. Not many more. We're getting a good feel. These are, you know, like neither of these feel like a telegraph pole. That's a wonderful thing to get low launch, low spin performance. I feel like the harder I hit at them, uh, the better they go. Which is, you know, not surprising for these style profiles. You know, they are, they're not for the faint hearted. Even though they're only in a 6S with my, you know, with me at 105. Um, go one more. And that's a, that's a little miss hit. A little low. Okay, so here's the digits. Um, the 1K white at the bottom there. Uh, 152.6 ball speed, launch angle 12.2, 2705, 236 carry. Extremely straight for a total of 254, so really nice results. Um, Ventus Black, you know, outperformed a little bit, but 154.5 ball speed. Ball speed was up and launch was up a little bit, spin was down. So it's gonna go longer. It, it got it by, you know, it got it pretty comfortably in the end as far as distance went. But when you look at the club data, um, you know, the Ventus Black was hit closer to the center. The 1K, I did hit a lot of shots out of the bottom. Now, whether that's because that's first up on the test or whether that profile doesn't quite get me in the center as well as say the Ventus Black is. You know, they both presented the same sort of dynamic loft, same sort of dynamic lie. You know, very, very similar there, right? Uh, so strike would account for those differences more than anything. At an educated guess there. Going back here. Now, if you had a look at the table, the interesting thing was, you know, this my longest shot was this one, 255 carry, 277 total. You know, it's coming in flat, good launch, 13.4, 
which is where we want it. That was, you know, you could see most of my launches were a, a little bit lower, you know, like 12.2. So that one's up, 156 ball speed, really good. 13.4, 2,027 spin, 255 total. Now with the Ventus Black, you know, I got uh, most ball speed was say here, here around the 256 mark as well. Very, very similar, you know, and, and when you're coming out at 13 launch and 2-1 spin, you get those bigger numbers. So 252, 274. So the 1K actually up here was the longest shot, but really, really similar digits there. Okay, so you see the results of those two. Um, you know, my job really is to try and educate, help educate you guys with, you know, making choices of what to try or what you might like to buy. I think both are magnificent. I think the difference being the 1K to me felt a little softer, a little softer in the tip, a little lighter, had a little bit, you know, a little bit more lively. And when I middled it, it went miles, the same as the Ventus Black, they both went Fabulous. And so if I was doing a fitting on me, obviously I would choose the Ventus Black. It was a little bit more consistent. Um, but that was because of my ability to hit it closer to the center. Now, is that user error? Is that, you know, there's only a, a couple of shots with each shaft. Is that user error or is it just the shaft? I mean, quite often we see in our fittings, some shafts you can middle better than others, okay? Is one shaft better than the other? No, I, I really don't think so. I think it, it, it will get down to your fit. Both extremely nice, extremely great feeling. Um, black today nudges it for performance, but like I say, uh, there's more options in the, in the white in the 1K. It comes in lighter, um, you know, from a 50 gram regular all the way up to an 80TX. Whereas the black only, well, it starts in 5X and 5S in, in Japan spec. Generally would only start in 6S and then up to 10X. So black is a burly sort of shaft designed for those real hard hitters. Um, so white a little bit more user friendly as far as options go. Both beautiful shafts. Be sure to, to check them both out.